about the x-axis. So here's the area for A3. We're going to rotate that about the x-axis. All right, there's the look of A3. I'm going to make a reflection. And then the ideal of rotation. So, let's start the process again. I'm going to start at 0 and end at 1 all along the x-axis. So it's 0 to 1 along the x-axis. Um, my radius will come from pi, and the outer function will be this a3, the blue one right here, or should I say the, um, the blue one, which is y2. minus the um, lower function, so the outer minus inner. The inner function is actually the x-axis itself, which is y equals 0. 0 squared. And then these will all be based on delta x's. Okay. So this will be it. So let's simplify this and place in y2. becomes x to the one-third raised to the second power. So we're taking the antiderivative of x to the two-thirds power dx. Next, we want to find area of 1, and we're going to rotate that about the y-axis. The y-axis is here. The y-axis is where x is equal to 0. So we're rotating this about x equals 0. Okay, so a1 Okay, that's the look of a1 and I'm going to rotate that about the y-axis. Let's create the image. There's the image. And then the um, image or the um, illusion of rotation. start working on the major piece right here, finding the, the kind of the starting and stopping point. So we're going to go from, let's say here, which is zero, so right here, which is zero, and to the top here, which will be one. So from zero to one. Okay. And our radius will be made out of pi times the radius of the outer. The outer is this portion right here. The outer is this part right here, that's our outer, which is the red um, y1, y1 squared. Okay, minus the inner piece. So the inner piece will be this one right here, which will be our um, x equals zero. So that's the radius squared. And then, this will be all based on delta y's because oops, the thickness here will be a, a thickness here that slices here, and those are delta y's. All right, let's put in y1. 
I'm sorry, this should be x1 by fault. That should be x1. So I have to go back here and I have to um, solve for x. So y equals x squared, and this solves for square root of y equals x. There is a plus and minus, but we'll only take the positive part since we're only looking at one side. So we'll make this the square root of y equals x. And I'll go one step further and make this into y to the one-half power. Okay, so that's our x1. x1 is y to the one-half power. So y to the one half power squared would be y. Then we take the antiderivative of that and we get the volume of that solid. Next we want to rotate A2 about the y axis. There's A2, which is right here. And we're going to rotate that about the y-axis. So let's kind of create an image. And then the illusion of rotation. First thing we want to determine is our limits of integration. We'll be slicing from here to there. So from 0 to 1, that's where we'll start our slices. And just to show you what the slices will look like, those, are, those will be our slices. Zero to one, pi. Okay, now we're going to do the outer, which is the blue one right here, that's the outer. And that'll be, um, let's rewrite that as x to the one third power. So it'd be y2 squared. And the inner will be the red one right here, which will be there. That's our y1 squared. And our deltas will come from the slices here, and they'll be delta y's. Okay. And I'm sorry, I made a mistake again. These will be x's. I'm sorry. The radii will be x's. So unit over here translates down to here. So this will be x. Two and x one. Okay, let's go ahead and find x two. We have y equals cube root of x, and I'm going to take a cube of both sides. I'll get y cubed. Y cubed equals x, and that'll be x. 2 coming from y2. So my x2 will be y cubed. To the second power. And let's go get x1. So y1 is equal to x squared. Take the square root of both sides, so we get y equals square root, sorry, y equals plus and minus x, but we do not consider the plus or minus, so we'll just say x because we're looking at only the positive side. So that'll be x and then square. And 
identities would be delta y. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, that would be y. antiderivative of y to the sixth power minus y squared. Next, number six. We want to rotate A3, area A3, about the y-axis. Now, let's show you what that will look like. That's A3, and let's rotate this about the y-axis. And there's this image. Then the illusion of rotation. And we'll be going from 0 to 1 to cover the whole figure. And we'll take the outer minus the inner. Now the outer function is this part right here. That's our outer. So that's a constant one. So this bar right here represents the outer function. Let's see. So it'll be one squared minus. The inner function is made out of the blue part right here. The blue part is y2 equals q root of x. So y equals q root of x. I'm going to solve for um, solve for x. So take the q root of both sides, and we'll get y equals oh, sorry x equals y cubed. Translated into y cubed. Which becomes y to the 6. dy. So 1 minus y6 is the dy. 